what's going on guys probably not gonna be a real long video but just uh rolled up on one of these attempt at variable speed i guess still has an outdoor temperature switch <laughs> field installed on it so i guess they uh haven't mastered how to lock out their heat strips there is an outdoor temperature sensor wired into this thing but i'm guessing this isn't communicating probably similar to bosch yeah there's a y there's a o there's a r there's a car yeah here we go we got another attempt at uh variable speed <laughs> without the technology of communications which i mean look at all this stuff in here you figure if they can do all that they can uh figure a way to make it talk right but uh anyway there's our compressor probably nothing more than a damn two-stage compressor i don't know not really familiar the only two times that i have worked on one of these lux air units both times it's been that breaker right there going bad and it comes with that in it so you got the disconnect over there and you got this thing and both of the ones that i've worked on that was the problem but anyway somebody was here back in july and said the thing might be low on charge and they wanted us to come by and recheck it and it's taken forever to get the appointment set and uh just so happens it's 60 degrees so they're about to be cold in the house <clears throat> all right so we got it and we're all hooked up to it we'll give it a few minutes it's quiet I'll give it that <clears throat> of course you know you don't have a really proper variable speed system when you've got a Honeywell T6 thermostat on the wall but uh train XDs are often imitated but never duplicated but anyway definitely i'm not sure what kind of airflow i have in there yet but those pressures are definitely looking low and this thing's ramped up pretty good there's nothing really like the train i can go into the thermostat and or even at the outdoor unit i can go into the display and verify if my compressor is at 100 percent it says c4 down there on the board so i'm guessing that maybe is us cooling stage for let's see if this thing has anything over here about that auxiliary heat cooling got some c4 c4 stage 4 cooling that's what it says right there so And that's looking a little bit low to me. So I guess we'll uh, find out if they want to add refrigerant to it or do the leak service. They weren't sure back in July. I mean, they've let this thing run since the end of July like this. But, uh, let it run a little bit not being familiar with it let me give it about five more minutes and see what we end up with all right guys so we are going to charge this thing up and uh 
we're going to double check it again when we come back in the spring it's holding the same pressures that it was when we were here last time so the guy has chosen not to pay for a leak search and we're going to just charge it up um, i'm going to call and see if this unit was registered it's seven years old um, so if it wasn't it's out of warranty if it was registered when we come back in the spring it'll still be on two years shy of the 10 year warranty period so he'll still have plenty of time to deal with this under warranty but right now he just wants to be sure that it's a problem and uh, basically not waste any money doing a leak search we do charge for leak search situations so rather than do that he chose to pay for the refrigerant I don't know what the service history is on this we haven't been coming out here with the exception of um, back in the end of July so uh, we are developing that now with these two calls uh, he said the person that sold him this unit and installed it is no longer in heating and air conditioning so that figures but anyway so I've got this thing hooked up over here and got some refrigerant and we're just going to get the charge balanced on it and we'll follow up on this thing in the spring when we do the uh, cooling service he's going to sign up for a service plan with us and <coughs> we're going to come out in a couple of weeks and do the heat maintenance on it and there's also a little mini split over here we'll come out and we'll work on that too Fujitsu no, it's been some, uh, Mitsubishi and then we'll come back out and we'll double check the charge on this one when we do his cooling service in about April so anyway guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one